you want to know what the top five defenses are in Madden 18? Well, check out this video and we're going to get started. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and in today's video, I'm going to take a look at what are the top five defensive teams that will be available for you to use in Madden 18. So number five on our list, in, in my opinion, this is going to be a team that's going to be very fun to play with. They may not, they may not be uh, a great team overall, but they are going to be a blast to play with just every now and then kind of mess around with the roster, see what you can do. And that's the Jacksonville Jaguars. Their drafts, if you guys haven't been paying attention, the, the drafts the Jaguars have had, the players that they have are very, 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 very good players. The only problem has been that they, they've been unhealthy, you know, and that's kind of like what most ha happens with bad organizations. Normally, a lot of a lot of your success relies on your player's health. And I, I truly believe, though, in Madden, it's not so much. It's all about players, all about talent. The Jaguars have a very good defensive team. They have corners, they, they have linebackers that are really, really fast. The defensive linemen they do have are studs. Uh, they can play a lot of different positions. You can run a 3-4, 4-3, a nickel. You can run pretty much anything with that team and be okay. So the stable, just the athletes they have are, are really the reason that I picked for them to be number five on our list on the top five defenses because I just get really excited thinking about the Jaguars because they're so young um, and it's it's just kind of neat. So I would check them out. I think they're going to be one of the really forces – to be reckoned with on the defensive side of the ball. And I think it can make up for some of the difficulties they're going to have um, on the offensive side of the ball. Because we all know there's going to be some difficulty with using Blaine Gabbard as a quarterback. But I believe the defense, their flexibility alone, warrants them, a at least in the conversation, for the top five uh, defenses. So I wanted to recommend them. The, the number four on our list, and this is a team that I, no one's really talked about, uh, but that's the Kansas City Chiefs. And the Kansas City Chiefs are they they are just fundamentally solid. They in my opinion, you can run any play at any time, and the Chiefs can make they can make a lot of really good things happen defensively. They have some really big time studs at the cornerback and safety positions that really accelerate their potential. They're a really, really good cover two team that you can utilize. The linebackers they have pass rush really, really well. And they just make some really amazing plays in the secondary. Um, but anyways, guys, I think their pass defense is top notch. So I would look at them as as a potential option. The uh, number three on our list, and this team is going to be carried by its defense. So you're going to need to be playing a defensive game. And that's that's the Denver Broncos. Um, and the reason I recommended the Denver Broncos is because number one, their pass rush, they just have some real big time pass rushers. They have linebackers for days. In my opinion, they have the best linebacker, one of the best, if not the best linebacking court in Madden. They are very, very close um, and very, very close. They are very, very solid at the linebacking court. Von Miller uh, and then. Um, Dang it, I can't remember the guy's name. Sha I think it's Shaq Barrett, Shaquille Barrett. They are, I'm telling you, man, they're they're tough. They're tough to pass on because those linebackers are just so, they are studs, man. They, they can make plays. They'll fly around for you and make plays. And, 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 and then the safeties are hard-hitting safeties. You could put the safeties at corner, run cover two. There's just so many things you can do on the defensive side of the ball with the Denver Broncos because they have those linebackers that can make a lot of flexibility for you. Um, number two on our list is the, it was kind of tough because I really, I wanted them to be number one, but I just don't think they're quite there yet. And 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 that is the, um, the Minnesota Vikings. So the reason I say they're not quite there yet is because they don't have that player for Madden, it's important to have a player that you can use her consistently. So, for example, um, on the Cowboys, they're going to have Jalen Smith, and he's going to be a really good user player because he's going to be very fast. Um, the Packers, you can use Julius Peppers, I think. Back when he played for the Packers, you could use him because he was like 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, something like that. So you, you want to have linebackers that are they have some kind of character for user ability. And in my opinion... The Vikings have Anthony Barr, and you can user him, which is fine. The only downside to user controlling Anthony Barr, in my opinion, 
is he is a really really good player on the on his own, and they just don't have that that next tier guy. Uh, but you can use your Anthony Barr and get away with it. He he is one of the best user players in the game. Um, the problem is what, when you use your Anthony Barr, then the question is who do you match up against the tight end? Who do you match against the wide receiver? So that is the one concern I have with them is that if I use their Anthony Barr, what does that mean for the rest of my defense? And can I do it? Can I accomplish it? Um, for me right now, I truly believe I can. And I think they're very, very close to that top, that number one seed it's just going to be a matter of seeing how the season plays out and if they get any roster upgrades or serious things that happen, um, you know, then then we're going to look at it. And then number one on our list, and this is this might come as a surprise to you, but I really believe uh, this this team is, is is going to be one of the better defenses in the game. And, and that's the uh, that's the Atlanta Falcons. Uh, and the reason why and I was kind of split between the Atlanta Falcons, I had thought about the Pittsburgh Steelers a little bit. Um, and the only reason I decided on the Falcons was because of one thing, and that is uh, flexibility. They offer a lot of different ways to play defense. If you ever looked at their roster, they have players on their defensive tackles that can cover in zone coverage. They have a lot of really good ability. When you when you really break it down, their linebackers are freaking are very very good you can do so many things with them um you can run cover two you can run cover three you can blitz from zone you can blitz from man uh the linebackers can pretty much cover anybody the corners are uh are pretty solid uh they have they have offered and then i think the other one guy can cover a man too so they have two corners that can cover uh pretty much any target any receiver on the field they have the safeties that can really just lay the lumber uh, it's just a, it, it's it's going to be fun to play with that team. I'm telling you right now, they're they're going to be a force to be reckoned with on the defensive side of the ball. But I was wrestling with them, and then they also was wrestling with the Oakland Raiders. So uh, you know, I couldn't quite figure out the the only reason Minnesota was at number one was again what I was saying about that user player. I just don't feel comfortable, uh, you know, being forced to user my essentially my best player on my team. So. Uh, anyways, wanted to give that to you as I freakishly lost this game and all I had to do was throw it away. But but anyways, guys, uh, another team to look at, another sleeper team that you might check into. I also thought about the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Cincinnati Bengals. They were all kind of in a one-way, uh, a five- to six-way tie for first place. Uh, I just couldn't figure out between the Vikings, the Bengals, the Steelers. Uh, and I ended up going with the Falcons because they have essentially their defensive ends are linebackers. But they, but what it does is when you have a defensive end that's a linebacker like a Vic Beasley, you can sub him in at defensive tackle, and I think that allows a lot of different flexibility for you, uh, for different types of blitzes and different types of things that you can do to be effective on the defensive side of the football in Madden 18. But anyways, guys, I wanted to share with you my top five tips for, or not my top five tips, my top five teams. For uh, defense, I didn't mention the Houston Texans either, and I wanted to talk about them. Again, they're up there, uh, and they they probably will take that Jaguar spot uh, at number five. But I wanted, I I think the Jaguars are going to be more. They're going to be more fun to play with, okay. But the Texans will probably be a better defense overall than the Jacksons will be, but but than, than the Jaguars will be. But the Jaguars. Um, you're going to be able to do some more things because they're a little bit more athletic uh, than the Texans. But anyways, guys, wanted to get this video to you. Let me know what you think. Let me know what are your top five teams. These are mine. Uh, but as you can see here, there's going to be a ton of great defenses in Madden 18, and I look forward to playing the game. So thanks for your time. And if you enjoyed this video, then make sure to subscribe to the channel. Take your next step and subscribe to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, then like I said several times, be sure to invite friends to join it. Thanks, guys.